We love the Mornington Peninsula. We love coming down here. It's a great place to get away from the city. Especially on a day like today. We love the great outdoors. That's why we have put the national parks on the top of our list of the things to do down the Mornington Peninsula. There are two main national parks down the Mornington Peninsula. Let's go. Cape Shank is part of the Mornington Peninsula National Park. The boardwalk out to Cape Shank is about 1.5 kilometres one way. It heads down to the Pebble Beach. The views of the jagged coastline and Bass Strait are spectacular. Surf can get really good at Point Leo, but when it gets too windy, the windsurfers take over. This is one of my favourite places to go surfing. We are in Point Nipia National Park, and it's a 40 minutes walk to the tip of the peninsula. Poinapee National Park is a narrow piece of land extending from just south of Portsea to the water's edge of the Rip. It's difficult to imagine that this small area has played such a pivotal role in so many facets of Australian history. This national park is one of Victoria's most beautiful natural landscapes with stunning views to both Bass Strait and Port Phillip Bay. Gunnamatta Beach is the most popular surf beach down the Mornington Peninsula. It is part of the 30 km long coastline that extends from Cape Shank to Point Nepean. There are heaps of beautiful places along the Mornington Peninsula. Some places are more popular than others, but that's up to one's personal preference. We would like to share with you places that we love and we have visited a few times and for tourists they are a must visit destination.
Arthur's Seat Eagle Cable Car is the most prominent attraction on the peninsula. It descends from the height of 314 metres, which gives spectacular views over Port Phillip Bay. The Eagle replaced the original chairlift which closed after it collapsed in 2003. $20 million was spent on the new Eagle chairlift project. Let's hope it's much safer now. Just a short drive from Arthur's seat is a very popular strawberry farm called the Sunny Ridge. Your destination is on the right. They have been running the strawberry farm since 1980. We love the ice cream called Strawberry Temptation. They sell fresh strawberries and lots of strawberry stuff in the shop. The only drawback we found was trying to find available tables. There seems to be not too many to choose from. As you can see, the place is very popular. Uh, Belgian chocolate and strawberries and a mocha. What do you got, Victoria? I have a cup of tea, I have tea and uh, I have waffles with strawberries and Belgian chocolate. Oh, it looks very nice. How's the waffle, Victoria? Is it good? Very good. Really good? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, mine was great too. I've got Moscato Strawberry Sparkling, that tastes oh, beautiful, yeah. sure you said it is more. really nice that, and this one's a different kind of one, I've got a um, Moscato Passion Fruit oh, Sparkling, it's really nice, nice too. so, yeah. mm, look forward to having that, yeah. oh, bon appetit, bon appetit. There are many wineries down the peninsula. We don't know much about wines, but we think the Point Leo Estate is a pretty amazing place to visit. The Sculptor Park and the views of Western Port Bay are spectacular. The artwork collection is quite astonishing. It includes local and world famous sculptors such as Kors and Plenza. No surprises here, the owners can afford to invest in many projects, including the biggest shopping centre in the Southern Hemisphere, Chadston. Ashcombe Park is one of the places which are worth visiting. Ashcombe Gardens are quite big. They occupy 25 acres of land. It is home to Australia's oldest hedge maze, lavender fields and themed gardens. The gardens are beautiful but the entry fee is a bit pricey. If you decide to go, we think the best time to go is springtime.
I don't like the peninsula spas. The place is overcrowded. I've been there three times and I had the headache twice. So it's not for me. I love the mornings in Peninsula Springs. I think they're fantastic. They're in a great area. The water is beautiful and the views from some of the springs is unbelievable. I'd go there again and again. Thumbs up from me. We didn't include Peninsula Hot Springs on our list of favourite places as we have divided opinions but it would be a mistake not to mention it. The Hot Springs is a very popular and well maintained resort. What are your favourite places down the Mornington Peninsula? share in the comments and if you like our video today give us a thumbs up and subscribe cheers